What's up everybody, so we're back here in the Integra again, and we're actually making a video on this, but uh, we are doing something. So, I'm waiting for Matt right now because we are going on a road trip today to Houston, and you know what happens when we go on road trips. <laughs> so, let me get a little backstory. So, this car has a B20 swap into it, and it's a good swap, don't get me wrong, I like it, but uh, just, so it's been running kind of weird re recently, it died a few times, it's got a little bit of a oil leak I assume, because it... I smell burning oil all the time. I mean, it's it's running fine though. It's just I don't know something like that. So I was just like, okay, well, maybe I'll just buy a B18 B1, the non VTEC, and uh, build it for a turbo build in the meantime while it's still running, and then just you know send this B20 and send a rod all the way to Mars, and then you know swap that one in. But I was looking at that. I was pretty dead set on it, and then I was just like, okay, I wish I could afford a. B18 C5 GSR motor, or I'm sorry, G uh, C1 GSR motor, but they're pretty expensive, honestly, and a Type R motor's out of the question, but, so I was just looking around and everything like that, and then I was like, okay, I can't find one in my budget, so I'm just gonna go with the turbo build. Well, guys, <laughs> you know me, I always look through Facebook, everything that I could find, so we found a good deal on Facebook, and if everything works out accordingly, I'm not gonna give it quite away yet, but, uh, we're gonna get something pretty cool here, so let's wait for Matt and uh, let's say a little bit more about it. Guys, before we get started again, um, I just wanted to show you too, this is one of our new additions to our gear. This is a little stabilizer and I have our one of our GoPro Hero 4s here, so it's got the screen. So for our vlogging and stuff like that, and uh, little cinematics and stuff like that, um, they're about to get a hell of a lot better with this and I'm super excited about it. Alright guys, we got Matt, so now we're on the road trip and uh, well, you know, if we go literally anywhere outside of where we live, I can't stop without going to Bucky's. I'm sorry, it's just, it's unhealthy addiction. So, I mean, am I wrong though? So, anyways, we're almost to Houston, and uh, I'll update y'all when we get there. So, this is the car we're taking a look at today, guys. Really clean, I like it. So Dakota just got back from the test drive. Um, I mean, I gotta say, it does look really good. Um, we will we'll see what happens here, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Alright everybody, so uh, well as you can see, we picked up the car. Now a little bit of information about this because I know we didn't talk that much about it. The reason we picked this up is because it is a GSR 4-door Integra and it has the B18C1 in it. We picked this thing up for very very cheap and you already know what's going to happen. So that's pretty much why we picked this up. We're in Houston, this thing has a whole bunch of goodies we're going to cover when we get back to the house. But uh, for right now we're just going to get this thing ready get this ready and then start heading back to Austin okay guys quick update so so uh, we had a little issue with the car so far um, we filled it up with gas we pulled in the gas station now this car has a kill switch in it and it's to control the fuel pump which is smart but um, the switch itself is kind of wanky so we turned it off per you know you're supposed to or else the fuel pump will keep running and we filled it up with gas. We could not, for the life of us, get this fucking switch to turn back over, and it was a it was a mess. So I mean, thankfully we got it back over. The car's on right now. We're not gonna turn this thing off until we get back to Austin. So I mean, I'm chilling right now here. Matt's got the Integra. He just went into the store real quick because we gotta get some supplies. Uh, this bad boy's got no AC, no power steering, and I live in Texas, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to life hack this way back. So um, I have a little life hack, I guess, for uh, driving with no AC. Um, we'll show it in a second, but uh, just in case too. So there's a little bit of a wiring issue with this car too. Uh, so Matt's going inside to get a little bit of a, fi a mini fire extinguisher, just in case. So I'm trying to stay positive about all this, but you know, I'm still happy. We'll be okay. So um, when Matt gets back, we'll figure out this AC situation and we'll go from there and also another update um 
if you invest in walkie-talkies for drives like this, let me tell you, it's the best thing you could do. Because we've used phones before, and the signal or just volume's not that good, and these volume on these little walkie-talkies is just amazing. And it's saved us so far with directions and all that. So invest in those if you're going to go on road trips like that. But I'll update you guys soon. I'll see you. All right, guys. Well, let me tell you a story. So it's been a stressful ride. So... Like I said, our AC situation has been solved by uh, microfiber towels soaked in water and ice. Put them around your neck, it works. I mean, I gotta get this thing home, so what can you do? So, a little update on the car too. It's, uh, it's running pretty good. I mean, we're going and it's driving fine. Um, it's backfiring a lot, obviously, because it's running so damn rich because the fuel pump is now stuck on. Uh, the speedometer doesn't work and that. Let me show you how stressful this has been for me. So let's get back there and let me show you. You guys see that right there? Yep. That's been fun to deal with. So Matt, how's this road trip been for you? Miserable, it's hot, I hate everything. Sounds about right for today stopped here for a minute just to take a breather and get some snacks and stuff but up until this point it has been raining non-stop since we left Houston like as hard as it can so that's been stressful in this car because I mean the tires are eh, and the brakes are eh, so it's just yeah this is fun so let's get uh, let's get back on the road we're almost home I don't know if you guys can hear me at the moment but I mean we're driving there's Matt up there it's doing pretty good so far like I said straight pipe exhaust so I don't know if you can hear me but thankfully we're almost home and I mean like I said <laughs> tack doesn't work I mean tack works but speedo doesn't work and it's a little hot in here obviously but thankfully we're almost there so we made it back and uh, it is hot 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 <laughs> so it's uh it's pretty quick that GSR mode is awesome Letting Matt take it for a ride right now. This has a stupid short shifter. It's lowered. It's loud, which is not good. I'm sorry, it's not good, but another thing. So as you see back there, we didn't catch on fire again. So that's pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, we made it home. It only caught on fire once, which was good. But now we're gonna go through the process of turning the car off, which means turning off the key and then turning the switch off and immediately disconnecting this battery because this thing's gonna catch on fire, I swear. Explain how lucky we are this thing st stopped smoking, didn't catch on fire again, and how we got back here. Ah, yeah. Quality. Oh my God, it melted itself to the battery box. Good Lord, I'm surprised we made it back. All right, everybody, so that being said, that is where we are going to end this video. Um, all said and done, at the end of the day, the price of this Acura Integra was $1,500. That is pretty good for not only a B18 with VTEC, but all the extra goodies it has that we're going to be able to put on the other Integra. So, I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day, but thank you so much for watching, and this is going to be an awesome build. It's going to be such a fun adventure. I've never done a motor swap before, and this is going to be something I'm really excited to try. So... If you want to support us, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That's going to really help us out. And you'll see more progress updates on this. I'm hoping we get the swap done very, very soon. It's going to happen, so don't worry. And I'll see you all next week.